will give you all my praise. I will give you, I will give you all my praise any day, any time. All my praise. I will give you, I will give you all my praise any day, any time. All my praise. I will give you, I will give you all my praise. Let's get it like. Hi guys, my name is Rachel. Welcome back to your own self where we keep it 100. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Anyway, hi guys. Um, I just wanted to say a massive thank you for all the support, support that I received on um, my recent video on testing new makeup. And like I said in that video, I said I can't wait to catch up with you guys. So we're just gonna jump straight into the video no if we're full bish bash bosh we're gonna get into it so, so basically today's video is gonna be what i learned in 2019 but basically 2019 was one of those for me it started off very like rocky and hard and like not so great but it ended in joy and happiness and success the first thing is to actually trust in God and trust in his word and just trust that he does have plans um, for your life, plans to prosper you. He does have a future for you. And even in the midst of hopelessness, even in the midst of darkness, he is hope, he is light and he will make a way for you. Like he really will. You know that song? You made a way. Literally like when my back was against the wall when your back is against the wall it's like you have nowhere to go like you're actually like yeah so what i learned this year wow my hands are crusty uh we just gonna ignore my crusty ass hands or whatever but anyway as i was saying yeah trust in god because he is the light in darkness he is the hope in hopelessness he is your strength in weakness he's your peace um in the midst of the storm so yeah trust in god sorry guys something just came into my mind um i was i like to i i used i journaled a lot in 2019 in the beginning especially and um I, I, write, I write to God, that's another form of prayer. I was reading um, my diary and I was reading what I wrote in the beginning of 2019. So I think this was around, let me check. Yep, February, this was in February. And this is what I wrote. We literally just got to a good place. You gave me the strength to get to a great place and all these things are triggers for me. I wanted to have one good week. If I stay at home and not go to work, I'm afraid of what will happen. Does Satan really hate me? Hate my purpose that much? Lord, give me strength. I refuse to go back. I mean it. By the end of 2019, I will be 100% free. 100% free of the victim mindset and the orphan spirit. But Lord, this hurts a lot. Just letting you know, I feel hated and alone. Just want to go into isolation, to be honest. Am I supposed to be depressed forever? Maybe I'm not strong enough. Will I be single forever? The Lord says you are just 19. Um, relax a bit. Lord, I really need your strength and your healing. This is hard. And God said to me, yeah, I write it here. It says, God said to me, I will be with you, Rachel, says the Lord. And then um, I just said, thank you for placing like certain people in my life. And um, yeah, I just wanted to wake up early to pray the next day. But like one key thing i said here i said lord give me strength i refuse i refuse to go back i mean it by the end of 2019 i will be 100 percent free 100 percent free of the victim mindset and the orphan spirit now that was a declaration that i said over myself in darkness when i wrote that i was not it was like I don't know, no, that was, I was in a weird place when I wrote, but in the midst of darkness, I was able to make a declaration over myself. And it's so mad because I actually forgot that I wrote that. And it was literally like, what, a week ago or two weeks ago, I was just reading to see, oh, what did I write <laughs> at the beginning of the year? And I saw this and I was like, oh my gosh, thank you, Jesus. Like I nearly started crying because it's a thing whereby I am 100% free of the victim spirit. Like I don't, be I'm, and I'm um, free from depression as well. So it's a thing whereby I actually have a healthy mindset, a, a healthy um, mentality. And that took a lot of work. <laughs> 
took a lot of work. Lord knows. Satan tried me. And even in the midst of healing and strength, I do have days where I feel like I'm going back to the old me, but I don't dwell in it. It doesn't become an episode. It doesn't become a thing where it gets to the point where I'm trying to commit suicide, if that makes sense. Like I'm very much like, okay, you know, it probably lasts for a day and then the next day I'm laughing at myself. Whereas before I never was able to do that. So yeah, God answers prayer. Another thing that I've learned this year is people are not you. Like people are not you the way you handle situations the way you would go about life other people are not going to go about life that way um i feel like i view the world in a very different way and i feel like i'm very different and sometimes when people do things in certain situations i'm just like what is wrong with you like i'm not saying that i'm perfect but like all i'm saying is that people are actually different and people the way people think is different not everybody has the same heart as you not everybody has the same goals as you not everybody everybody sees the world differently so something that i learned this year is that people are different another thing i learned this year is that there is a time for everything it even says it in the bible that there's a time to to um to build and there's a time to like you know not to build there's a time um to 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 mourn and there's a time to be joyful and i really really learned that this year there actually is a time for everything even for, to be in the darkness there is a time for that there is a time assigned to that but we all have seasons and what i what my prayer is and what i've also learned is that you shouldn't dwell in particular seasons for too long because it just prolongs the process so the first part of 2019 wasn't that great but then the second half was amazing i got an amazing place um, God blessed me with a placement and you know I live here you can see my humble abode um, I'm walking in purpose and the second half of 2019 has actually been really blessed for me but if I had given up in the first half then we wouldn't really be here today and because of everything that I've been through I am very grateful for the things that God has blessed me with so there is a season for everything there is a time for everything just don't spend too long in certain seasons that God is calling out you out of if that makes sense and when he's calling you into a new season be prayerful be equipped with the word be equipped with god and have a conversation with him and just go into the next season with faith and trust in god another thing i learned this year is that prayer is truly the master key um i prayed about my placement i prayed about my mental health i prayed about a lot of things um that i wanted in the beginning of 2019 and how i wanted to be by the end of 2020 uh, um by the end of 2019 sorry i've been planning ahead for 2020 as well so sorry if i'm mixing up the years but like I can truly say that the person I was at the beginning in January 2019 and the person that you're seeing right now is a different person. She has a different mindset. She is um, someone that I actually like and that I am looking forward to. Look at me talk about, myself, talk about myself in the third person. Is that insanity? I don't know what that is. But this is someone that I can work with. This is someone that I am looking forward to work with looking forward to working with and developing and God really answers prayer like he answers a lot of prayers even during the summer that was such a hard time for both me and my family but God really really came through for us and really answered um prayers well I think I'm still in the process of learning this one but the importance of balance balance is so important especially now that I'm doing nine to five and I've got church and then I've got my personal life to worry about my health and all of that so it's really really hard to balance and I'm just trying to like learn that so that's something that I really really want to work on in 2019 and another thing that I learned in 20 uh, that's something I want to work on in 2020 another thing I learned in 2019 is um the value of time like time is valuable time is money time means something and what are you using your time to do um sometimes I'm, you can spend 45 minutes watching an episode of your favorite tv show we could spend 45 minutes in in the presence of god you can spend 45 minutes resting you can spend 45 minutes doing this doing that going to work going to school going to uni um but time is so important and you really need to look at what you're doing with your time and how we can 
you know make sure that we are being as productive with our time i'm not saying that you can't watch tv shows and i'm not saying that you can't do what what you want to do but i'm just saying that time is essential and sometimes you have to reflect on what you are doing um with your time what else did i learn just do it yeah that's something that i learned just do it if you want to do something just do it and you never know what will happen and that applies to everything and anything um don't hate who you are like honestly that's a lesson that i learned don't hate who you are um god called you to be exactly the way you are for a reason so don't hate it and there's a reason for that one prayer point that i prayed which i think everybody should pray is that lord help me to view myself the way you view me and i feel like when you see yourself the way god sees yourself it's much easier to you know treat yourself with the respect that you um deserve uh what was i gonna say trust the process ah the importance of trusting the process the process is life that is what the process is <gasps> Sorry, excuse me. That's something that I've learned. I felt like, okay, people would say, trust the process to me, trust the process. And I thought that the process had uh, a beginning time and an ending time, but I genuinely think process is just another word for life. So trust the process, trust the process, trust the life that God has given to you. And life is literally like, uh, uh, they call it the circle of life in it so there's gonna be high points and low points like life is like a roller coaster your relationship with god is like a roller coaster there's gonna be points where you're just like screaming like yeah there's other points you're gonna be scared there's other points you're gonna be like okay this is calm but trust god in everything trust the process and trust that god will bring you through there is truly light at the end of the tunnel um there's a Bible verse that says, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil for you are with me. Your rod and your staff protects me. And that is a verse that I really, really hold dear to my heart. I know it's Psalm 23 and we just say it anyhow, but really deep. I was going to say the lyrics, but really deep the words um, in that verse. Oh my gosh, I'm talking so much. I need to get through all these points. Let me just make sure. Do what you love. I think that's something that I've learned. If you do what you love, um, you'll always be like, somewhat satisfied in life so find what you love and stick to it um i've also learned that god can still use you when you are broken ah shando god can still use you when you are broken when you feel like you are unqualified when you feel like um you're like wh whatever it is god can still use you when you are broken he used me a lot when i was broken and sometimes the way people are like oh my gosh rachel and da -da -da, when i'm just like yo like even when I look back at the things that I was going through internally and how God was still using me in the midst of darkness, like God can actually still use you while you're broken. Uh, uh, I learned that community is important. It's not about um, quantity, but it's more about quality. Um, you shouldn't just spend time with people to fill that space, but you should actually be very mindful of who you allow um into your circle i'm really trying to get through these points really quickly i'm so sorry um i also learned um the importance of faith and just having faith in god faith is literally trusting that god has already done it and then which gives you the confidence and the boldness to go um it's not always easy to have faith but i think it's very important to have faith that god has got your back because oh how can i forget this one the word of god is so important my goodness when you get revelation from the word of god i actually need to read my bible more because the word of like literally john chapter one verse one literally says in the beginning was the word and the word was with god and he is the word like god is the living word so if you're a christian and you don't read the bible i don't really understand and um, whenever my life is going a bit whoop, i always ask myself rachel when was the last time you read the bible when was the the last time you prayed when was the last time you were actually in the presence of your father and then you know yeah because i've also learned that even just being in constant communication with god like even little things like um the bus waiting for you or knowing what to wear to work or just favor just like favor will just be following you anyhow just because you've been in the presence of the father um oh my gosh this is getting really long i'm so sorry guys i'm so sorry um testimonies are so important make sure you always give the glory back to god i've also learned how to handle things properly you can't force friendships friendships come and go um and when they do go it, it is painful i've learned that <laughs> uh 
uh, friendship breakups hurt a lot, but you can get through it. Uh, what else? What else? I don't want to miss off anything. Oh, yeah. I think the last thing that I'll just have to say is that God genuinely has a plan for me and he genuinely has a plan for you despite everything, despite what you may think about yourself, despite what you might be going through. God has a plan for you. There's a sermon that I watched that was, it basically was titled, um, when it feels like God is doing nothing, I will put it in the description box down below. But that sermon really opened my eyes. And sometimes we just need to really, really trust that God does have a plan for us. Now, thank you so much. If you made it this far, God bless you. Thank you for getting through the video. Um, that is all the things that I've learned in 2019. I probably learned a lot more, but um, you know, stories for another time. I'm pretty sure I'll find a way to make a video about it. But um, thank you so much for supporting me. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. And also comment down below the things that you also learned in 2019. Um, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one. But anyway, I need to go. Follow, follow, don't want to go solo, solo, nobody can take